what's up guys it's fat Aaron coming to you with a kill confirmed on fallen with the m4 one of the first weapons you start off with and yeah the blind eye perk keeps you a safe distance or keeps you safe from air support and sentries that's the tip from the intel that i suggest you ignore because who needs blind eye when you could just take out a stinger I'm telling you you can take out a you take out a stinger and you can just wipe out airplanes since they don't have uh, flares. The higher kill streaks do, but that first helicopter does not, and that's what a lot of people run. Anyways, um, kill confirmed, M4. It's one of the first good gameplays I had besides the Type 95. Um, you can see I start off with a, with a double, was that a double kill? Was that a triple kill? I don't, I think I need to rewind that. No, I'm not gonna rewind it. Anyways, um, M4, it's like the basic weapon. Uh, I feel like it's a, it, it's an above average assault rifle, not that it's really super good, but it's really consistent, really reliable, um, especially with the uh, point streaks that I have, which are the, uh, not the point streaks, the perks that I have, which should, I think are uh, sleight of hand, quick draw, and either stalker or steady aim. One of the, Those are the only real last perks I are used to run. I run a lot of uh, dead silence now just because I don't like to have my footsteps be heard and I don't like to hear my own footsteps. And got the good old Magnum out. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a lot of glitches going on in this game. Maybe not like overt glitches, but like glitches that deal with the challenges as I'm picking up my controller and getting ready to play again. Level 73 or 74 right now. But um, one of the challenges is to get for this for today or this last day was to get five kills with handguns. I definitely took out a Magnum and got like a six handgun streak the other day and nothing happened. I just kind of sat there and was like, what the balls is this? And now I get my favorite kill streak so far, the good old, um, the good old A6 Overwatch. And right here, I, I think I have the, yeah, I have the O spray gun on, but I, spoiler alert, failed to get it. What are you gonna do? You can't, can't get them every time. But enough really about the gameplay. I want to know what you guys' honest opinion about Modern Warfare 3 is so far. This is my sixth gameplay I've put up. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I am going to Prestige tonight, and it's gonna be a grand old time. Um, I really enjoy the game. It's it's been a lot of fun. My thumb actually hurts from all the sprinting that I've been doing, but um, not like real life sprinting, but you know, like pressing stuff down. Sprinting. Why did it say? It says I have new emblems and tags, and I don't see them. I think the game is lying to me. New title. Where is this? But that's not what we're talking about. Anyways, what we're talking about is <clears throat> why you like Modern Warfare Three. What is it about the game that you like? Do you like uh, the way the gun uh, flow is. Um, a, a popular sentiment I've heard is that the game is good. A lot of people like it. A lot of the stuff from Modern Warfare 2 that sucked is gone. But now um, the maps are too small and the maps are holding the game back. And I agree with that sentiment uh, completely. I think I watched one of Sandy Ravage's gameplays today and that's exactly what he said. That he was looking for basically Modern Warfare 2 with some improvements and like, you know, getting rid of like one man army, noob tubes. Um, commando, all that sort of crap, and that once they do that, they'll have like a solid shooter on their hands. Well, they did a majority of that, but they forgot that you need like good map design in order for like kill streaks to flourish and stuff. Um, and I don't think that these map, like this map, isn't bad. I think Fallen, I think this map is Fallen one, might be one of my favorite maps because it does have like some open lanes. It's got some spots like this where you can like hide in a building. Um, there's different vantage points. I feel like it's one of the better maps. Like, here's, like, a close quarters sort of thing. Oh, oh this is a lot of this. Here's the open area. There's some lanes. It's It's, it's got a pretty good mix. But then you get into to other games, and there's not that much. Like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Just, I don't really know many of the map names. But a lot of them are, are very close quarters. And, like, you have, like, 20 feet of a hallway before you get to another 20 feet of another hallway. And then, you know, you're just, you're screwed because you have to... I don't know, adjust to that hallway or something, but who am I to say what the dealio is because that's just that's just how they made it. So I guess we're going to deal with the maps. Hopefully with the massive amount of D DLC, they're going to be improving that and um, we'll get some bigger maps to, you know, maybe bring out the, um, I guess, variety and map outlining, map whatever, whatever you want to say um, or call it, I guess, just map variety and size, shape, form, penis, and vagina. But anyways, that's really what I wanted to get out is basically, you know, what do you guys think of the game so far? Are you enjoying it? What's holding it back? Is it the guns, the point streaks, the maps, 
What do you guys think? Loving the game. It's going to be the best best game ever ours. So um, let me know what you guys think. And more content is coming. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And you want to see more of my baller-ass Modern Warfare 3 action. Alright, guys. Peace.